Hey peeps, so as most of you know, those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that I eat a completely plant-based slash vegan diet and I mentioned that I live in a mixed household and the only people that do not eat meat in my house are me and my baby. After that I got some questions about what I feed the baby, what types of foods does he like to eat, can I make a video on what he eats like in a day and stuff like that. He has been completely meat free his entire life. I will not give him meat. If he grows up and wants to eat it that's his decision but while he's still a kid, while he lives with me, I will not feed him meat. I had a completely meat free pregnancy and he is 100% healthy, thriving, running around, doing all the typical one-year-old stuff. More specifically, he is 19 months now, but I do want to say he eats mostly vegan. However, he is vegetarian just because it makes everything easier, especially when like if he's at school, if he's with someone else, it's just easier for me to tell them don't give him any meat as opposed to saying this is a list of all the things he can't have but when he's home and especially when I'm feeding him most of his meals are vegan so today I'm going to be walking you through all of his meals that he has today just wanted to give you a little background and let's go ahead and jump into the meals so every other morning I start him off with one of these gummies these things I swear by I started giving these to him after he got sick once I was just doing some research on what I could do to prevent illness and elderberry came up a lot so I started actually giving him the liquid form but that kind of got a little messy so when I found these I was really happy because he can just grab one and eat it he's only been ill once in his life and after that he's never been sick again and they actually say they're for ages two and up I started giving these to him when he was about 14 months I want to say and I felt comfortable with it because I was already giving him the liquid and that's for 12 months and up but if you don't feel comfortable if your baby's a little younger than two you can go ahead and give them the liquid or they might even have gummies for ages one and up I'm not sure but this is what I give them and it seems to have been working so I give him one of these when he wakes up every other day then I'll go ahead and give him a cup of milk either oat milk or almond milk and I always dilute whatever beverage I give him whether it's milk or juice I always do half water and half milk or juice So he'll have his milk and sit and watch cartoons or play and that'll keep him occupied while I get his breakfast together. And for breakfast during the week I usually give him oatmeal. He loves oatmeal. I also like to add quinoa to it as well. Super healthy, good source of fiber, good source of protein. And you don't even notice the quinoa is in the oats. It just blends in seamlessly. I'm going to boil the quinoa first. That's all done. Add in some oatmeal. I do about half and half. A little more oatmeal than quinoa though. A little bit more water. Cook that for a few minutes till the oatmeal's done. Then I add some flavor to it with just some plain unsweetened applesauce. I put a couple tablespoons in there. Not a lot, just enough to give it a hint of sweetness. And that's really it for his breakfast. It's super basic, it looks very bland. <laughs> and it is kind of bland, but he really enjoys it. I will sometimes to this add some chopped strawberries. And he really likes seeing the strawberries in there, but I only do this sometimes. More often than not, it's the oats, the quinoa, and the applesauce, and he kills it. All right, so for a snack, I'm about to make some chickpea. They're like mini quiche cups. I'm using cooked chickpeas this time. Usually though, I will use chickpea flour, but I don't have enough to make a batch. I'm running out, so I'm gonna have to use the whole chickpeas. And I just prefer using the flour because then I don't have to use my blender. I can just mix it with liquid and mix it by hand. Um, with this, it just takes like an extra step. But you can use either one, they both work. So I have my chickpeas here. I'm gonna add some oat milk to it, blend it up. And you want it to be thick, kind of like the texture of a milkshake. I'm gonna chop up a bunch of veggies. So here I have some collard greens. Usually in this I use spinach and I thought we had spinach, but I just looked and apparently somebody ate it. So I'm using these collard greens, which is fine because they needed to be used up anyway. I'm gonna chop up this red bell pepper. 
And I'm gonna dice up this onion. Threw that all into a pan. I'm also gonna add some frozen corn. Let me just saute this in some water. And just put it all into a big bowl. Add the chickpea mixture. I'm gonna season it with some nutritional yeast, a little bit of mustard, some garlic powder, pepper, and some salt. Give it a good mix. And I love this because you can pack it with so many veggies and he just, he devours these. So it's a really great way for them to get a lot of variety in their diet. And then you just line a cupcake sheet, fill them with the mixture. I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 425 degrees until they are nice and firm and cooked all the way through. When they're done, they look like this. So I'm gonna give them one of these as a snack. Sometimes I give them as snacks, but other times I give them as meals. I'll give them like two of these as a meal and maybe some fruit on the side or something. But yeah, if I make these and throughout the day I notice that he seems hungry, like he wants to snack, I will give him one of these. Here you go, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. So I just store these in little Ziplocs like this and keep them in the fridge and whenever he wants a snack or I want a snack, I just pull these out and they're really convenient. But we go through these so quick. A batch of these will only last two, maybe three days in here because um, they're just so, so good. They're so tasty and just really handy to grab. You can use whatever veggies you have on hand. You can just load them up in here. For lunch today, he's having a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I have my whole wheat bread here, bread on some grape jelly on one piece, and peanut butter on the other slice. And I always cut a sandwich into bite-sized pieces because even if I gave it to him like this, he would try to stuff this whole thing into his mouth. <laughs> so I have to cut it up really small so he doesn't choke. And for his meals, I really like using these containers, these are super handy. I feel like they are the perfect serving size for, you know, little kids. And I also use these when I prep his meal. So I just made two sandwiches. I'm gonna feed him one now and then I'll pack one up for tomorrow. So that's what I'll do for a lot of his meals. I will make a bunch at a time and then just meal prep for him. Sometimes he'll eat all of his sandwich at once. Sometimes he'll eat half of it and then come back a little later. So I'll just give him half up front and then see if he wants more at the time. Also gonna give him some pretzels. Mm -hmm. Kenzo's always nearby to pick up the scraps. <laughs> Kenzo. Kenzo. One at a time. Stop stuffing your mouth. Yeah, oh, your sandwich? Yep. Yeah. Don't tease him. Are you some water? Here you go. For dinner, he's having pasta and Brussels sprouts. So I have these frozen ones. I'm gonna toss these with some olive oil, sprinkle on a little salt and pepper, and then toss them into the oven to roast. I'm actually having some of these with my dinner, so these aren't all for the baby, by the way. For the pasta, I'm using rigatoni noodles. So I'm gonna boil these, of course, and then drain them. I actually went and cut them in half, so they will be easier for him to chew. And now I'm gonna take some tomato, basil, garlic, pasta sauce, pour that in. I'm gonna add some nutritional yeast. And then for the Brussels sprouts, after I roasted them, I cut them in half as well. So they are easier to eat for the baby and for me. I like my Brussels sprouts cut in half. I'm gonna add some of this coconut amino sauce and just give it a toss. So his dinner is done and I have a lot more food left over that I'm gonna pack up so he'll have some meals already to go for tomorrow and the next day. So yeah, cooking in bulk like this and then meal prepping, it just makes everything so easy. Yay! 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 <laughs> So I just ate and he was actually trying to eat some of my food so I think he's still hungry. So I pulled out some cantaloupe. I'm gonna cut this up for him so he has something to snack on.
all right so that's it that is all he eats in a day and yeah he has a very diverse palate he likes to eat a lot of the things that I like to eat I'll let him taste my food so that's a way that I have been able to introduce him to so many things he likes a lot of things that you wouldn't necessarily think a baby would he really really likes um but yeah I hope this video was helpful to you guys hope you enjoyed thanks so much for watching and I'll catch up with you guys soon on my next one peace